Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I thought I would do a casual video today, kind of sharing some new tape-ins that I'm gonna try. I took out my old tape-ins, I think yesterday, and then washed the hair, and I'm gonna be applying some new ones today that I got off of Amazon that I'm really excited about. If you're wondering why I have a full face of makeup on, I was doing just doing a lash cut video. I tried their lower lashes for the first time, so this is the end result. I know it looks, looks super intense, but I'm actually, kind of loving it and yes in my pjs which i wanted to share about these once again this is in collaboration with the brand Equair. i'm not 100 percent sure how to pronounce it but i first tried their pajamas last year i'll try to insert a little video here i got these dark forest green ones to wear around the christmas time they're really light comfortable but still have a nice weight to them and i washed them so many times and they held up so well so they reached out for a collaboration and i said of course i would love to i already love your products these are one of the pjs here i've been wearing them almost every single day this whole christmas season you saw them a few times in my vlogmases i got like this gray melange color here and it has the white piping they're so comfortable if you're looking for a pajama to lounge around in like chill around in the house to in i feel like these are the pajamas on amazon these are like the best lounging pajamas in my opinion it has the white satin tie pockets and then the white piping everywhere and they're just so comfortable check them out on amazon i will link them down below but moving on to the hair so i found some new tapins from amazon that i'm actually really excited for because i have not seen these on amazon yet i have tried these types of tapins from another brand called lily hair so if you look up under my hair playlist i have a few videos of how i apply tapins and trying like different extensions and things like that. I have one for Lily hair. They're called hand tied tapins. I'll try to link it here if I don't forget. And they were a really cool concept. And I kept looking for them on Amazon just because I don't know, I just find it so much easier to shop through Amazon. And I feel like it's a lot more accessible for a lot of people. So I finally found these right here from the brand Lavu Hair. I'll link them down below as well as the details in terms of like the size and color that I got. But as you'll be able to tell, there is hair on top of the tape. So unlike a traditional tape and weft, it almost looks like a piece of plastic right here that's holding all of the hairs together. This one does have that underneath, but it also has some hairs on top. So when you apply them in your hair, it almost looks like they're growing out of your own scalp. So these in particular are called injection tapins. The ones that I tried from Lily Hair are called hand tie tapins. So I guess depending on the brand, they'll give them a different name. But I just was so excited to finally see them on Amazon and try them out. And they did only come with five pieces for I think it was like $35. So these are going to be on the pricier end. They're kind of like more premium extensions because again, it almost looks like it's growing out of your own hair. And if you're doing a full head, I Feel like the price will add up real quick but for me i just use tapins for a little bit of volume like right here on the sides especially so because these only come with five i think i'm going to do like one two three four and then cut one in half and apply it here and i'm going to use the single-sided tape method that i've been using in the past few videos so usually the way tapins work is you kind of take two tapins and you sandwich them in between your own hair and you're able to wear them this way for about six weeks on average. You can wash your hair, style it, you know, whatever. And then you remove it after six weeks. Usually you're able to remove the old tape and reuse the extensions depending on the quality of the hair. A lot of the Amazon ones, the quality's not that great, so you can't really reuse them. I'm interested to see how these will hold up. But these I'm not going to be sandwiching in together. I'm only going to be applying one. And then underneath, I'm going to apply a single-sided tape. Sandwich that on the underside. This way, it's a lot less weight on fine thin hair. I've always had fine thin hair. That's just how I was born. So I try to do what I can, and I feel like adding a tape in here and there, first of all, it's something that I can do at home, and I'm pretty comfortable doing it at home. It's pretty fairly easy to remove as well. Get a little bit of volume where I want it. I'm not really going to focus too much on application because I do have videos, a few videos already on that. But when you are applying tape-ins, you want to make sure that you have a very clean part and you want your parts to kind of be in a U-shape. So starting from here, you kind of want them to go in a U-shape here. My old tape-ins, I did not apply that well. You can see my tape-ins in a lot of my Vlogmas vlogs because I applied them a little bit too close to the hairline and the rule of thumb when applying extensions is you usually want to apply them two to three finger widths away from the hairline so whether it's here in the front 
place two to three finger widths and apply them starting right here or like the nape of the neck here in the back kind of like starting at the hairline make sure you're applying them two to three finger widths away I think I'm gonna go with three because I feel like the other ones I applied them too close to the front and I don't have a lot of hair here so whenever I would put my hair like this you can like really see the tape right here so I think I'm gonna place these a little bit farther back it won't give me as much volume here since they're gonna be sitting right here but it'll be enough I'm going to create my first part I think I'm gonna start kind of like around my temples ish and I'm gonna go in a u-shape towards the back I'm not gonna be applying them in the back in the back so I'm not too uh, I'm not gonna be too particular about the part in the back I just want to focus on the part right here I'm gonna clip the rest of the hair out of the way and then I'm gonna use these hair grippers I got them on Amazon as well and they really help to keep the hair out of the way especially the baby hairs because you don't want any baby hairs getting in the way and kind of snagging in between the tapes and things like that so these are really helpful for that I grab my extension remove the tape from the back exposing the sticky side and you want to apply it a few millimeters away from the root you do not want it straight to the root because it's going to be way too tight way too much way too much tension you don't want to apply it too far away where it looks like it grew out a lot this is incredible and it's almost a perfect color match as well it literally looks like it's growing out of my own scalp so these are definitely going to be a lot better to conceal they are more expensive like i said but i guess that's the price you pay so then what i do is i lift it up and you can see that some of my hair naturally sticks to that sticky side and this hair is what I'm going to sandwich in between the other tape. This method kind of takes the guesswork out of having to know how much hair to sandwich in between. Once you flip it over, go ahead and clean up any like stray hairs. Make sure you have a really clean part here as well. So this single-sided tape is only sticky on one side. So I'm going to grab one piece, like so, and this I'm going to sandwich right on top try to align it as best as possible and then just press it down hold it for a few seconds and then you can let it go and that's it that's literally the process that's how I kind of do the tape ends so I did one here I think I'm going to do another one here I'm going to do the rest off camera and then I'll show you guys what it is that I end up doing. All right, so I'm on the last one. I did one, two, three, four, and I'm gonna do a half piece here, a half piece there. So I'm gonna bend the extension piece in half and just cut it in half. Look at how thin these are. Once you apply them to your scalp, they're gonna look like they're growing from your own scalp. And I think this one I'm gonna put right here. I mean, look at that, that is incredible. Okay, now that we have those in, the last part is trimming them down <laughs> to match the hair length. This looks so funny. So when you're doing this, you want to be careful that you're not pulling on these and then not your natural hair. Because then when you let it go, they're going to bounce right back up. So you want to make sure that you're kind of doing the same thing to both of them. Alright you guys, here's the end result. I cut both sides. I was just kind of doing... I was doing an Instagram reel, so I wanted to film the other side for the reels. But this is the end result here. The hair does have a little bit of a kink to it from packaging, but again, don't wash your hair for like 24, 48 hours. Just to make sure that tape has time to adhere, I'll keep you guys posted in the, in the description box how these hold up. But I'll leave the link to them down below, as well as these PJs. Again, check them out. They are like my all-time favorite lounging PJs. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out. So far, I'm pretty happy with the result, but I'll let you guys know how they hold up over time. I wanted to do a video trying these new tape ins on Amazon, so I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you guys in future videos.